Hello there, Libra, and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing good out there. And Libra, in case you don't know how it works on this channel, is that I channel out whatever spirit wants me to for however long. And that's just how I roll with spirit. So I do hope you enjoy this for Libra in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's find out what you need to know when it comes to your current situation. Oh, I like this. Uh, we got uh, something about home, and I am getting fire sign energy coming through with this home. Something uh, about passion as well. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is coming through. Ooh, Libra, listen to this. Your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in occupants. We could be adding or deleting occupants. <laughs> I shouldn't say it like that, but it sounds funny. So yes, we could be adding or deleting um, occupants, right? And it is about a healthy change. So be open, be available. I feel the stirrings of your heart is really propel propelling you something really um, good that's going to ignite uh, something within yourself here. So get ready for your heart to be set on fire. All right, let's see. Oh, nice. And we got receptivity. I get water sign coming through with this. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Allow yourself to receive, Libra, because, hello, you deserve it. You know, I feel that you're in a position as well of, you know, being very powerful or guided to be powerful. And you need to um, maintain a sense of, you know, gratitude and also be available for things that are coming your way that nurture you so that you can give to others and also increase your intuition, your energy, so that you can give to others <clears throat> in a healthy and productive way. Okay, let's see what else is going on for Libra. I'm also sensing like Queen of Pentacles coming through. So, <clears throat> you know, the fact that I'm like just picking up these I don't know, it's like a very mature energy is saying, you know, something about you, you know, really set, settling your roots and allowing your roots to grow with wherever you're at in life, okay? Because I feel that there's something about you really uh, owning, harnessing, utilizing your wisdom that's producing great results in one's life. See? Producing great results in one's life. I get pentacles energy with this infinite supply you know, I really get like 10 of pentacles with this. Okay. So hmm, a lot of you, you know, with home, there could be, you know, something, if it's not about your environment, then this could be about assets, right? Um, feeling that you can, uh, stay committed to a situation or a place, maybe, uh, have, you know, or establish your dream home or an ideal home life, right? Well, however that shows up for you. You are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. A lot of you may be in this right now where you're just learning about balance, right? Boundaries and balance so that you have a, you know, fine um, line between give and take, right? So that we are maintaining great balance, which is, you know, also saying, hey, respect Libra. <laughs> and that's what you're getting and attracting. Now, if you're not feeling like things are flourishing, I encourage you to take some time out and just feel this energy that's surrounding you right now because you're meant to thrive, right? You're meant to feel that sense of nourishment. What, what you do comes back to you and it's coming back in tenfolds because I just get this thing about 10 of pentacles here, which is a great card to have in tarot. It's um, earth sign, so it's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And that's really feeling very comforted in life, having all that you need, having a, um, you know, plenty and for the long term. What else for Libra? Past life is playing out in this lifetime. See, I was getting something about the position, you know, I was picking up, you know, queens, right? Maybe even, you know, king and queens, it doesn't matter. The situation involves your past life memories. Hmm. Someone is doing something here. There's something going on with past life memories, <clears throat> ancient wisdom, gifts and abilities being utilized in this lifetime. Now, pay attention not to get stuck in the past or, you know, make the past more important than this present moment. Just know that you harness some type of power. 
you are a channel to receive all the things and knowledge you wish to receive. You know, we'll see, we'll see if justice comes out, Libra. I just feel like this is about you really being in your power to having new opportunities um, coming in and, and really sticking to it. Let's see, what else for Libra? And speaking of, you know, justice, that's you being in your power because that's Libra is uh, justice is associated with Libra. We got the arts. Express yourself through creative activities. So this might be a time, again, that you're nourishing yourself, doing things that make you feel that you are giving time to your passions, your desires, to your dreams, to yourself. Maybe it's time for you to express yourself through crea creative activities or try a new thing. There's something that wants to come out with the, the arts here. You're also taking your time with something. So something is coming towards you. You're in a place of receiving here. So there's a high attraction that's going on with you, Libra. And all you got to do is be in a good mood. I mean, really, all you got to do is be in the present moment, do things that you love, embrace the masculine. It might be time as well that you're attracting either a masculine or fem feminine in one's life or you know, some type of partnership or companionship that, you know, how it shows up in your life, be just be available to it because there's something about harmony, synchronicity, okay? But most importantly too, there's something about you, you know, just um, maybe staying disciplined when it comes to the things that you've been wanting to do that you don't have to, you know, put on the back burner anymore because maybe other things were important, right? you having to do for others or other responsibilities, but look at this, now it's time for you to receive. So give into the things that maybe you have been putting on the back burner and just dive into it more and more. Healthy boundaries, right? Lead a healthy way. Letting your emotions flow, allowing things to just flow for you. There may be uh, some great insight that's happening because we do have this card of past life and this infinite supply where her eyes are closed. So I just feel there's something strong about allowing emotions to speak to you. We're not repressing. We're just accepting, you know, and acknowledging because sometimes that's all our emotions want is to be acknowledged, to be accepted. And that's how you can just let it flow because you're not going to be in a place of judging it. Right. And, and, and see, I was getting the thing about you being in uh, the position of the justice card, which is, you know, you're right at home with that. So you're doing things that help you stay balanced and in the flow more and more. So if something, you know, is changing or if something arises, just acknowledge it. Um, because I do feel that there's some, something powerful happening with your third eye here in this past life. So you could really be purifying and cleaning up something from past life. Okay, what else for Libra? Oh my goodness, okay. Do not fear the unknown. Oh my goodness, it was like really funny how that card just didn't want to flip over. You know, you didn't want to look, right? But don't fear the unknown. You've got what it takes. You've got more than what you need to help carry you forward with confidence, grace. You're finally in tuned with the cosmos that are, that's guiding you, Libra. What else for Libra? Also with that, let the emotions flow. I, I do see something about, you know, pur purifying something here, right? And even the good emotions, listening, take time to listen. See, you're just in a place of being receptive to information. You're receptive to your environment. You are highly attractive, Libra. I just saying you're highly attractive right now. There's attraction at play, powerful forces. I wouldn't even be surprised if magician came out. 
there's some music notes here you know songs could be speaking to you somebody's playing music here you know playing an instrument here again maybe there's something you've been putting on the back burner and now it's time to just dive into those things right be what you want to be now listen the ancient ones speak to you you know i was already picking that up and we are out in nature here right so the forces of nature are favoring you songs music poems something uh, maybe even reading things could be popping out and also you're taking time to listen to your own inner desires what's important for libra because you're establishing some type of boundary within yourself because you're coming into okay libra i feel that you're coming into something very powerful a new agreement in life where you know you're coming in with um confidence uh more stability with knowing who and what you are knowing where you begin and end and where another you know begins and ends oh you've hit rock bottom right that's what it seems like don't know which way to go but the only way to go is up don't worry you whatever is going on you are supplied for for today and all of your tomorrows let's get more with this rock bottom i even get like 10 of swords with that so gemini libra aquarius what do you want libra to know when it comes to rock bottom past past life leaving it behind because what you know look we got infinite supply here that's the opposite of rock bottom sometimes we have to hit rock bottom too in situations so we know our limits we know when we've given too much and where we need to stop and and be in a place of receiving or giving to ourselves, right helpful people are coming your way so i'm getting like will of fortune or something like maybe even star card you know people and things um that are lined up that you know show up here don't be afraid to reach out for others as well if you need help but helpful people want to help you right remember this is about you receiving allow yourself to receive so you can give you know and here you are maybe for some it's not so easy to be put on a pedestal but maybe you just need to be on a pedestal for a while Maybe it's time for a Libra to feel important because you are important. Your needs matter and you're successy. Oh my. Success, especially when we felt that we've hit rock bottom or hit a situation here, right? Because you're going to be supplied for. So there's no other way but up. You're going up and up and up. What else for Libra? There could be something with maybe rock climbing, mountain climbing, or doing activities outdoors for some of you. Trust in magic. Oh, hmm. we got two ravens here too. So, you know, through the void, something magical happens. But never, never believe that, you know, even if you do feel alone, you're never alone. Remember I was talking about magician energy and here we got this uh, card about trusting in magic because you're being supplied for. Do not fear the unknown. You know, maybe it's time just to take what you need, be open to receiving more and good things. What else? There could be something significant with jewelry as well or receiving jewelry wearing certain jewelry either for healing manifesting clearing protecting shielding and we do have the hanged man oh okay okay in the strength card i just wanted to make sure this is so funny because this one came out in reverse so delays are over you know this is the, the hangman in reverse that's so funny well he was to me was he i swear he was anyways i'm gonna say he was because he, he was to me um you know delays are over okay now we're also in a place of trusting listening 
right? Because some type of guidance is happening here when it comes to not fearing the unknown. We have Leo energy coming through with the strength card. Don't fear the unknown. Maybe there's something about, um, you know, self-control too, especially not engaging in situations that could uh, throw you off balance because maybe we do have to just give in to surrendering and allowing things to just flow without having to control anything, right? Trust in magic. It's like do less and have more. <laughs> okay, let's see. What else for Libra? Oh, Libra, there you are, Queen of Wands too. So remember I was talking about highly attractive, something very attractive right now, a very attractive energy is at play too. So, you know, Queen of uh, Rods is uh, magnetic, okay? And also she is a believer, right? She's not going to be, she's unstoppable. So when you're talking about success, I mean, you know, the ability for you to give to others, Standing out is what I'm seeing you do is standing out, being successful over now for some of you, yes, this absolutely career job, you know, things like that, but also with your own personal uh, progress here, right? Establishing or rebuilding oneself, especially after a time period where we might've gotten burned. I was going to talk something about that hangman too. I was noticed something about, you know, the tree, um, you know, the pillars here, the, it's like balance, right? Utilizing two to stay in a place here. A transformation or a rebirth is assured if you haven't been in that yet. Because I feel as some of you are at that brand new stage of a rebirth. You're just still trying to figure things out. But you don't have to go too fast either. You've got to dive into passions and desires when you feel the um, when you feel that energy. That's you capturing that wave, capturing that energy. Oh, speaking of, oh, this is so cute. I was just thinking about how you know people who live like in Australia or Hawaii or California or wherever they get those big waves, those surfer. You know, people like to surf or do water sports. <laughs> well. You know, in the Pacific Northwest, um, that's where I'm from. Okay, so, you know, when the sun comes out, we got to catch the sun, okay? Because when the sun comes out, we change our plans. We go out. That's what I do. When the sun comes out, I'm out there. I want to go out and I want to catch that sun. So it's the same thing with energy. Catch that energy. Catch that ride. Catch that desire. Catch that fire. Catch that sun if you need to. Catch that wave if you need to. But the time is now for you to believe in yourself and believe in your abilities and also believe that whatever has gone down is only making you better. What else? Now, there's also a woman here uh, embodying the Queen of Rods. The problem, okay, there is a problem with the Queen of Rods. She can be a little bit too controlling. So she, she does have to learn a fine line of, you know, <laughs> balance, right? But anyhow, we do have someone who's like warm and inspirational here. So you could definitely be attracting someone um, that can help fire your, you know, or give you some fuel. Oh, nice. We got the chariot. We got things taking off. Now, there may be a lot of things, you know, that you're having to prioritize because there is this thing about balance. And even with the chariot, you notice the horses here. Um... They both look like they want to go in opposite directions in a way. So um, you're getting close to harnessing those horses in, in the direction you want them to go, which is forward, right? So uh, trust in your confidence and your ability to do so, okay? Uh, there's something about public recognition or something about you standing out. You could even, you know, have something about a car here that could be standing out or having, you know, some type, I mean, if it's not a car or not, just know that the chariot is representation of success big time. You could find yourself being catapulted or uh, going into a whole new direction if you're not already in a new direction. Because if you are in that new direction, you're going to have success. Something about home too, because, you know, cancer is show, showing up here. So, can you know, the, the cancer is just like this love of home. So... We could be um, attracting a traveler or someone powerful too as well with the uh, chariot here, but expect things to take off. You know, I was getting this thing about delays are, are over here. 
you're stepping into more power because you are going into the unknown. <laughs> but it's either, it's either you stay here at rock bottom or you go into the unknown and have success. Let's just go into the unknown, have success. I mean, there's nothing there. We've already, we've already seen what we need to see and there's nothing left there. What else for Libra? Boundaries. I love it. Oh, you need to hear it more than ever, Libra, because some of you guys just go back and forth. But the thing, the beautiful thing that I feel with Libra is, you know, once you make it your decision, you're, you've made your decision, you know? <clears throat> I think that's what people don't understand about Libra. I feel like sometimes people get make fun of Libras for being indecisive, but it's not. It's just you're weighing your decisions carefully. That's why maybe just keep it to yourself and don't tell people because then they think you're being indecisive. But when you make a decision, you're very clear. And I'm just seeing you more being, also being in your power. And I forgot, I was actually picking up Queen of Pentacles earlier. So Queen of Pent Pentacles, I mean, I know the Queen of Wands came and they're both very prosperous cards here, but Queen of Pentacles is also very strong about her boundaries. She's very successful. Um, very achieved, you know, materially as well, um, and how she is desiring those comforts of life. Okay. But love yourself enough to say no to others demands on your time and your energy. You know, don't feel guilty for saying no. And others can also, you know, do things for themselves. You don't have to carry their weight and do things for them. So boundaries are very important. This is why you probably felt like you hit rock bottom. There could have been a real sense of feeling completely depleted here, you know, totally uh, drained. Sensitivity, yes. You are becoming increase, increasingly sensitive. You need to avoid harsh relationships, environments, and situations, and chemicals. See, and, and here you are sacrificing and doing just that distancing yourself or taking a time out from things because you're figuring out what you are becoming sensitive to because change is happening. It's unavoidable. Now, becoming sensitive is not a curse. It's a gift, right? Because you're learning how to make things bloom with your sensitivity. And with your sensitivity, you're figuring out what is right for you and what's not right for you so that you can establish boundaries. Okay, what else for Libra? Okay, what is this? Oh, oh, Libra, I love your energy. Oh my gosh, you are, okay, you have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. Hello, have you been questioning yourself? I hope not. You've got major cards about success here, leadership, I mean, big time, and high priestess is coming through, of course, because you're doing something that's really profound and powerful. Okay. And you are in a place of receiving divine knowledge. So here you are swinging away, you know, having fun. I could just kind of see you going back and forth, swinging and having fun on that. <laughs> you're like, la, 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 just being a channel for divine knowledge and energy here to help others. But you're helping others by helping yourself first, right? You probably are in a place or will be in a place where you're going to, um, you know, Go when you need to go or stop when you need to stop. Say no when you need to say no so you can say yes to the things you really want to say yes to. Not that you have to say yes to. No more of that. What else? Fertility. Nice. It is a perfect. It is the perfect time for you to start new projects. Access new ideas. See, you're accessing new ideas. You're giving birth to new conditions. I just was talking about the rebirth here with the hangman. You're giving birth to new conditions. Oh my gosh, the first card was all about. Your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in an occupant. So basically your, 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 your surroundings are going through a beautiful transition. Things can't help but be born into your world. <laughs> because you got that good energy. <laughs> uh, I even get Empress energy coming through here. So this there, you know, for those of you that resonate with this, you could be 
you know, fertile, <laughs> if you, you know what I'm saying? Like little humans could be formed in your body or you could, you know, be taking care of little ones or, you know, maybe they're not so little. So, so only take that if it resonates because not all of you Libras are parents out there. But, it, you know, don't sit on ideas if you know it's time to go with something. Remember, you're, you're, catching, the, the, you're catching the fire, you're catching the wave, you know, and so that takes a little time here. But trust in magic, listen to yourself. Okay. It's a great time for you to do something new, especially, you know, speaking of Empress, she's also tending to her herself, taking care of herself here, spending time and money on herself. What else? Oh, this card just flew right out at me. Oh, wow. Door to personal healing and happiness. See how effortless it just flew. Here's that new, here's these new doors for you, right? And it's close. It's actually close. More about, you know, I feel, I'm surprised. I just feel justice again, balance, right? We're finding our balance. We're in a place of integrity with ourself, our, our surroundings here. We're just letting, you know, being easy and letting things go. And here you are healing a situation and yourself. Seventh Shaka, Archangel Uriel. So she's highly connected to the spiritual realm. You know, again, receiving divine knowledge and energy, not just for yourself, but for, you know, others as well when the time's right. But it is important for you to find out about taking care of your needs first. Okay, what else? Okay, that's it for those. Um, let's see, is there anything else that wants to come out then? No, oh, okay. I thought that there was going to be more. Okay, so let's find out for you, Libra, what do you have to look forward to in the near future? What does Libra have to look forward to in the near future? Oh, speaking of, we got a perfect blend too. We had this uh, Empress Fertility card and we have that Embrace That Masculine here. So, you know, the seeds are there. You have everything you need. Just be happy while you're doing it. What does Libra have to look forward to in the near future? Oh my gosh. Okay, spirit. That's cute. What you have to look forward to in the near future is Libra. You got the 10 of cups. You know, I was speaking of 10 of pentacles earlier. So, wow. I mean, favor all around here in a, a, a very emotionally rich situation for you. The Ten of Cups is happy family, home life. I mean, come on. You got rainbows. You got, you got emotional contentment. So there's real satisfaction here with you and another or others because this is it, right? And look at this one. It's like these two, the, you know, one cup that's big produces all of this. So it's an overflow of satisfaction and happiness of what you have to look forward to in the near future. A bond so strong, it can never go wrong. I just heard that. <laughs> you like that? Oh my God, that was cute. A bond so strong, it can never go wrong. Ooh, we got Cancer Pisces Scorpio, trust in magic. Okay, let's find out uh, how spirit is currently helping you. How is spirit currently helping Libra? Also, Libra, I just want to bring this up. Take it if it resonates. Don't let mistakes or failed or perceived mistakes hold you back. You're in a position of being unstoppable. And being unstoppable, unstoppable brings great success. Okay, so how is spirit helping Libra? Oh my God. Oh my gosh. You're so funny, spirit. Oh, so funny. Ha, 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 ha. 
ha, 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 <laughs> Empress, okay. <laughs> That's just too funny. Here's Embrace the Masculine, which I see as the um, Emperor, okay. So we got Taurus and Virgo. Or why would I say Virgo? Okay, that must be some. Uh, Taurus and Libra, here you are. Libra, there's something strong with Venus at play here too. And speaking of being highly attractive, oh my goodness, Libra, you know you're highly attractive, okay? Just, just take it, own it. Also, please, when someone gives you compliments, take those compliments. Don't push them away. Don't water them down, okay? Take them for what they are take compliments, gifts, people want to, I mean, I feel, again, it's like you're on this pedestal and people are just, they want to help you, you know, it's not out of, you know, um, wanting to like, you know, be a slave to you, but it, there's just something about your energy, about what you're doing that they want to be a part of, okay? Also, the other thing that spirit could be helping you with is like family stuff, family issues, maybe a mother or a father or both here, right? The other thing I, I feel that spirit's helping a lot of you Libras too is uh, knowing when, when the time is right to give birth to those new ideas, those projects, those, um, you know, whatever you've got, you know, that you've been sitting on so that you're not sitting on something too long, okay, that it dies because we don't want that because we don't need that. And that's not what's happening because I, I don't see that at all because you've already been there, done that, don't want to do it again. Um, but also, you you know, you don't have control over things, but just know that when you're that abundant with the Empress, it's okay if, you know, one thing doesn't work out because there's going to be plenty, right? Because hello, you're, you've are you got the infinite supply. You are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. I mean, this goes hand in hand. There's something really beautiful that's happening with you know, feeling comforted by um, life, by others, having an overabundance of contentment and satisfaction and being proud of the things that you have, the things that you are nurturing and taking care of. I see, you see big victory here too. <laughs> I just see big victory with that. Okay, Libra, so I hope that was helpful. Love and light.